Once you are registered, you can click onto your home page in Seller Central. As a new seller, there are a number of settings to lock down and you may as well do this immediately after setting up your account so you don't forget about it. In the top right corner of the Seller Central homepage, click on Settings, which will generate a drop-down list of options to discuss. Account Info. In this section, verify that all of your contact information is correct. If you plan to use an alternate display name rather than your legal name, this is where you can enter that information. Accurate return information is super important because if you're using the FBA service, then that's, where, that's the address where your returns will be sent to. Notification preferences. Amazon has a number of emails that they send to sellers to notify them of performance, order notifications, and other information that they send periodically. Return settings. This is where you can designate how you want product returns to be handled. While FBA returns are handled already by Amazon, returns on any orders that you fulfill yourself will need to be shipped back to your business address. So you can set this up here. As a professional seller, you have the ability to set your own shipping rates for orders that you fulfill yourself. Our recommendation, where possible, is to have free shipping on merchant fulfilled orders. This allows you to compete with other prime sellers and makes you more attractive to customers in general. Tax settings. If you're required to collect and file sales tax in your jurisdiction, then Amazon can help you with collecting that sales tax directly from customers. User permissions. In this section, you can designate other users to access certain Seller Central sections or reports on your account. This is really useful if you have a support team like Bobsled Marketing helping you with your Amazon account. So you can provide people with access to specific levels of data while restricting other information that they won't be able to see. Your information and policies. Take a few moments to describe your company for sellers in the About Seller section here. This is useful for, for customers who want to get a little bit more information about your business before purchasing from you. And finally, perhaps the most important option, fulfillment by Amazon. If you're going to use FBA, you'll want to fill in this information to make sure that returns are sent back to the right place